Big Bash Cricket is one of those rare examples where it's technically an OK game, but that's still not a compliment. Yet although it's Australia's favourite summer sport, and it's a game, the goal bar is still far above. Even Chris Lynn could hit a six that far. There wasn't an awful lot wrong with the original Big Bash game, but the graphics have slightly improved. Although it's kept the swap controls, you have to press the loft button to do a loft shot. The bowling controls differ a bit from the flagship game. You have to time your swing and your release of the ball, and they're really awkward to get into. The stadiums and teams are both based on real life, just like in the BBL and WBBL tournaments. And that's not a bad thing. But let's list a few of the problems. The music is so agonizingly repetitive, but at least you can turn the music off in the settings, which is a welcome option to have. The AI's difficulty, however, is over the top in a way that isn't fun, nor fair. The shop, for whatever reason, needs an internet connection, which can become an issue when you want to buy a power-up instantly. Oh, it doesn't stop there. Playing matches and tournaments have their own entry fee. Unlocking stadiums is only accomplished by playing at least 100 matches with a certain team, and changing to a custom team costs money. Why would you do that, Next Wave? Although having a decent amount of flaws, Big Bash Cricket has evolved into a new and weird way of playing cricket. But the level of insanity and peculiarness on this game, features and conditions are totally off the charts. It feels fine and looks flashy, but it was a bust for me. For more of our reviews, have a look at what we thought on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild or MLB The Show 19. But for everything Big Bash, you're already in the right place, Gambo Games.